What's up, modern steaders? We've been trying to work on these nesting boxes in between raindrops here. This is, this is a two day project now. Right now, we're making the doors. We want to make a one big single drop down door. Now that we've dry fit everything, we're just going to take our boards back apart because they are a tongue and groove board. And then we're going to run a little bit of glue right in place. And a little bit of glue goes a long way. We just ripped down some half inch plywood and that's how we're going to hold the boards together. Glue actually is stronger than the wood afterwards. If you went to break a glue joint apart, it's not going to break on the glue joint. It's going to break in a wood grain area, which is pretty interesting. Let's see if we can do this by ourselves. We got this piano hinge right here that was we took off from the camper. We're gonna use this the best we can. I'm gonna put some liquid nails on it and screw it. I don't know if it'll do anything or not, but it'll make me feel a little better. A little warm and fuzzy inside. Put a couple of chains in the corner to support the weight of the door when it's open. Yeah. Now we just gotta go over to the other side and do it again. Sometimes we can go a little overboard, but I had uh, enough scrap tin left over. So we're gonna tin the roof on the nest box. I figured I'd save you guys the agony of watching me cut it. Not that much fun, and it's pretty loud. Just got some temporary blocks up here of wood that move for latches. I don't like them, but that's what we have right now. So I'm gonna leave these. I'd like to get some small pieces of oak or maybe some maple branches or something. Cause these are just pine that we can use. So these would just be for temporary use. Once we have a chance to figure everything else out, we'll do it. But let's get Olivia out here and see if she can use it. Cause that's the main goal of this nest box. We might have to put a handle on. I'm gonna see if she wants this on there. We can mount it wherever it would help her. All right, two things. These are just temporary. I'm gonna make better ones. So if they're too tight, don't worry about that. But then I wanna know if you want a handle. So, I'll get this one. What's the tougher one? Yeah, I'll get this one down for you. You get that one. Hold this. Yep, hold it with one hand. handle with it. Where do you want? So we can put a handle in the middle. Does that work? 
What? What height? Um, like something like um, that? Good? Yeah, like right here, and then like maybe in the middle of this board. Maybe in the middle of the board. Yeah. I don't know where it is, so I can't tell you if it went through or not. No, it shouldn't. Catch. Hello in there. <laughs> well, you didn't catch that. <coughs> what do you think? Good. Try opening and closing it a couple of times. Without latching it. No, don't worry about the latches. Just practice doing that. It's heavy. I feel like so it's going to Put it back up for a minute. Yeah, and then, so when you're lowering it, take, leave one hand on the handle and put one hand here. Is that a little bit easier? Yeah, cool beans. Now can you latch it? Yep, and look, if once you get it down just a little bit. See, hold on. So once you have this down, even if it's just a smidge, it's gonna hold it. So you don't have to get be scared about it falling on you after that. And then you can go over here and do the other side. Hello! Hi. We are finally able to complete the nest box in between the rainstorms. So we're excited that this part of the project is done. Stay tuned for more of our mobile chicken coop build. Hang with us. We're going to do it in between all the rain we're going to be getting in the next few weeks. But we're going to get it done. Right? Uh-huh. Then we can get the chickens in it. Uh-huh. Perfect. So if you guys like the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it. It really helps our channel grow. And if you have any suggestions on the mobile chicken coop build, leave it in the comments below. And we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and, and freedom. See ya.